Last week, the United Conservative Party announced a new candidate for the riding of Chestermere Strathmore. That seat is currently held by UCP MLA Leela here, one of Premier Danielle Smith's most vocal opponents during the leadership race. Sarah often has more on what's next for Ahir's political career. With her family by her side, MLA Leela Ahir is taking what's expected to be her final winter lap of her Chestermere Strathmore riding from within the United Conservative Party. And I don't intend on backing down on my voice, but you have to also work within the parameters of the space that you have. In October, Ahir announced she wouldn't run for re-election with the party. It follows almost eight years representing the riding, time spent in cabinet, and a challenging run for the UCP's leadership last fall. Ahir has been vocal in her criticism of Premier Daniel Smith and the Sovereignty Act. I'm grateful for the changes and that was necessary. I'm not one of those people who sits back, so I'll work from within to change, make the changes that I think that are have to happen. And I speak on behalf of the people that I represent, so I'm not going anywhere. But what exactly that means for her political career is still unclear. Politics has shifts and there's pendulums that swing and the pendulums are swinging in very interesting ways right now. Last week, the UCP announced dental assistant Chantal Dijon as its new candidate. The NDP says it's putting up longtime transit operator Raj Jessel. I think she's certainly got a chance, particularly if there's a bit of a split uh, of the vote. So if she were to run as an independent or let's say an Alberta party candidate, uh, a party that she's, she's definitely more um, aligned with, um, I think I think she could get enough of support and and perhaps hive off some of the support with uh, with the NDP perhaps picking up support. There's there's a chance she could win there for sure. Still, Ahir promises to find a new platform to maintain a voice for equity, equality, and progress. Whether I'm at this table speaking to you or at somewhere else, I will be there to help make those changes. Sarah Often, Global News.